Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of All the Mod 6 with Wizards Game. Hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. Today, we're going to be getting into some blood magic. So let's jump right in. All right, guys. So before we get into the blood magic, we are going to have to build a crusher from Immersive Engineering uh, in order to get the uh, potassium block that we need. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start working on that. And uh, if we take a look at the schematic here for this crusher from Immersive Engineering, this is what we're going to have to do. Um, so let's see if we can get this thing figured out. Uh, I think I've got everything here that I need to make this thing. Um, these crafts are always a little bit interesting. So I think this is going to require some of this here. And then I think it's another layer of that, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, that looks correct. And then some of this here. And let's see what else we got here. So we need a redstone block there. And we need some fence around that thing. All righty. Now we need our uh, immersive engineering hammer. Woo! Okay. <laughs> All right, we got our crusher. Now we need a flux point. Let's grab one of these guys. And I don't think we're going to need that stuff anymore. Let's see here. Set that to output. And is there an interface for this? There does not appear to be any kind of interface. So I think all we really have to do is pump in here some sandstone. And it looks like that has to go into the top. And then the output is going to be down here. Um, so I don't know if this is worthy of automation uh, because we don't need that much of this stuff. But let's see. I'm just going to throw a barrel right here. And I'm going to just chunk in a few stacks of sandstone. How much sandstone do we have? Oh, God, we have a lot of sandstone. All right, so I think we just basically have to drop this in. Uh, let me turn off the backpack magnet. Hello. We're going to drop that in there. Oh, boy, that's loud. All right, so this thing is just going to grind up the sandstone, and it's going to give us couple of different things this nitrate dust and the sand and that is what we're after um probably should just put a bit more in here we're gonna need a bit of this stuff now i was able to get a lot of the potassium dust from the potatoes that we were smelting over here in the last episode uh, I just kind of let that run over a few days because uh, I've been pretty busy and haven't been able to do any recordings. And we managed to get so much of this potassium that we're never going to be able to use all of this. Yeah, 172k. Whoops. Now that's what happens when you just leave it running. Okay. All right, so now we're getting some of that. That's good. All right, we're going to have to let that run for a while. Holy cow, that's noisy. Um, so I was going to uh, do the blood magic stuff right here. But I'm worried that that crusher is just going to be too loud. Maybe it won't interfere. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at blood magic now. Now we're getting into the blood magic. This is going to be quite a bit of a grind here, so uh, I hope you guys will bear with me on this. Um, let's see. So the first thing we're going to need is our blood altar. So we can go ahead and craft this guy. And let's see. We're going to probably need the book as well. So let's go ahead and make the blood magic book. And this is all that's required to craft that. Nice. Okay, so if we take a look at the book... Uh, we can see that the first thing we're going to have to have is this blood altar. And um, basically how this works is we get life essence uh, by harming ourselves. Um, we can we can also get it from harming mobs, um, but it's a bit more complicated than you might think. 
and uh, we'd probably have to wait in order to automate that process until we get higher tiers into this thing. Uh, but the other thing we're going to need is this uh, sacrificial knife, and this is what we're going to use to basically harm ourselves and put life essence into our blood altar. Um, so th this soul network, this is some interesting reading. If you want to read about that, I, I kind of recommend it uh, because we will have to have build up some uh, sort of soul stuff, if you will, uh, life essence in our soul network. And we'll have to have these blood orbs in order to do that. And those blood orbs will be used um, later on as we get higher up to craft the thing that we're honestly, that we're ultimately going to need, which is going to be that um, the Wither's Compass. And uh, so, all right, let's just get right into this. Um, so we're going to have to kind of plan this out a little bit. So if we take a look um, at our tiers of blood altars, I don't know if it's going to show that in here somewhere. Um, Let's see. Okay, yeah, here we go. So this is a tier two. So it's going to be elevated by a block, and then the tier three is going to be elevated by another block. And the tier four, which is pretty much the highest we're going to go because there's no reason for us to go to tier five, uh, we have to have the tier four blood altar in order to get the Wither's Compass. Uh, so that's going to be up by three blocks, and it looks like it's going to be out sort of by another, like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five blocks out. So we can kind of plan where we're going to put this, and I think it will fit inside here. Um, but we're going to have to go up by about four blocks, I think. Um, so let's go, let's get some concrete here and start planning this out. Um, let's see, so one, two, three, four, five six. So I think that should be good. This could be the center. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, we'll just come in one more and we're going to go up um, about three blocks here. And this is where we're going to start our blood altar. Now we're just going to have the, the tier one blood, blood altar for right now until we get some more goodies. Um, but we're going to kind of just plan this uh, this way. All right, so now we're going to need our sacrificial knife. And where is that guy? Um, right here. All righty. Nice. Now, in order to get some life essence in here, uh, and we can, if, I, if we hold shift, we can see that this thing will hold about 10,000 millibuckets. Um, and we just right-click our knife and... <laughs> We harm ourselves, and that puts life essence into our blood altar here. And you can actually kill yourself doing this, so be careful. <laughs> it's a good thing we have a lot of hearts. All right, we're going to get this thing completely full. And I think I still have ATM carrots in my backpack, so that's why I'm healing so fast. I mean, that's one thing you can do <laughs> if you have a lot of all the modium, which I do. Uh, so that basically kind of gives you regeneration, uh, another level of regeneration. So, all right, so I think our, our blood altar is full now, almost. Cool, so the next thing we're gonna want to do is we are gonna wanna see um, what, what it is that exactly we need to, to craft. So if we take a look at our ATM star here, there's two things that we're going to need. Uh, so the first thing we're going to need is this void sigil. And in order to make that, we're going to have to use arcane ashes. And we're going to have to use void regent. Uh, and we're gonna, in order to get the void regent, we're going to have to have a blood orb. And we're going to have to use these ingredients inside of the alchemy table. So we need to start kind of getting a high tier blood orb that we can sort of store life essence in. And uh, so in order to get that, we are going to need, um, let's see here. 
So we're going to start off with diamond, uh, because that's the only thing that we can really use to get to the blood orb for uh, from the tier one. So we'll just grab us a diamond here, and we just need one of these. I think so we'll throw this on here or we right click it on there we go and it's going to sort of infuse it with the life essence and it's going to turn it into a blood orb he he and takes a little bit of time we'll be able to speed this up a little bit all right there we go we got our blood orb noise now I think if we right click ourselves with the blood orb, it can actually add uh, life essence into the blood orb. Okay, so we've got our blood orb. And the next thing we're gonna wanna do is try to tier up um, our blood altar to tier two as quickly as we can. So let's take a look at what's required to get the tier two blood altar. Um, so in order to get this, we're going to need blank runes. And so we're going to need a bunch of these blank slates. And let's see here. In order to get the blank slate, we're going to need any kind of stone, I think. will work here, probably. And, and you'll just basically upgrade these slates with each tier of the blood altar. So let me grab some stone and move some of this stuff out of here and i think we just right click it on there now i, th I think if you automate this um like for example we could use integrated dynamics and we could have it automatically feeding this and it'll do like a stack at a time but we're going to want to kind of upgrade our altar before we really get to that point um because this kind of keeping the uh, the life essence in here can be a little bit of a, a pain. This is the one thing about blood magic that I'm kind of not a fan of is it, it is pretty grindy and it takes a while to get all of the tiers and things because of all the stuff that we have to craft and this process is pretty slow. Um, so, I mean, it's a great mod and uh, I'm not trying to trash it or anything. Uh, it, it is really cool and there's some really cool things you can do with it. And I do actually like it, but it is, like I said, it's just a bit grindy. Alrighty. So I'm going to work on this for a while. I'm going to try to get the components that we need uh, probably off camera here. I try to get our blood altar upgraded to the tier 2 blood altar as quick as possible. And then I'm going to try to get these, um, these items that we need. So the first thing we're going to need is this void sigil. And we've already seen how to get that. And then the next thing we're going to need is this Explorer's Compass here. Uh, and that'll give us the Wither's Compass. And that, of course, that has to be made with a Tier 4 Blood Altar. So that's going to take us a while to get to that point. Um, so once I get enough uh, ingredients to kind of tier up, then we'll be right back. All right, so I think we got everything we need to craft up our Tier 2 Blood Altar. So I'm going to go ahead and put down one of these guys, these blank runes. Now in order to craft this, uh, you just need one of these blood orbs and these are reusable. So you don't need one for every single uh, rune that you craft, but you will need a blank slate for every rune that you craft. And I also made four of these speed runes, which will maybe speed up the uh, infusion process a little bit. And that also requires blank slates and also a blank rune. So it'll require three blank slates total to create one of these. Uh, so I just kind of crafted about 40 of these blank slates. Um, and then uh, that allowed me to get the stuff that I needed here. So I think I can put a speed rune here, 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 and here, and then just put the regular runes here. And I think that now gives us a tier two blood altar. And it does, which it indicates up at the top there. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we've got our Tier 2 Blood Altar, and let's see what we need to get to the Tier 3. Uh, so for the Tier 3, we're going to need a lot more of these runes, uh, and they can be any of the runes. Um, there are some specific ones that I'm going to want to craft, which will 
um, increase the capacity of our blood altar so it'll allow us to store more life essence as well as probably some more speed runes. Um, so let's take a look at that real quick. Okay, so here we can see the rune of capacity and this is gonna take a imbued slate. Uh, and I believe we can actually make that with the tier two altar. Um, we have the rune of sacrifice here, rune of self-sacrifice, um, displacement rune, rune of augmented capacity, rune of the orb. So each of these acceleration rune is gonna help with different things, uh, but obviously they're gonna get a little more challenging to craft the higher up we go here. Um, so this demonic uh, slate requires a tier four altar, for example. So uh, as you tier up, you get more uh, sort of bonuses from the runes. Now we're also gonna wanna craft one of these incense altars. Um, and I think we can craft that right now, we can. I don't know if we'll be able to use it yet, um, but I guess we can try it out and see if it helps. But I think actually it increases the amount of, we're gonna have a space in between this, I think, so we can just put one of these here and we will set down our incense altar right here. Okay, so I'm checking the book here. The incense altar is a multi-block structure that can be used to boost your self-sacrificing at a blood altar. By standing near your setup, the incense altar will calm your soul based on the area's total tranquility, allowing you to significantly increase your LP gains. So we're definitely gonna wanna uh, get that. Um, and I think, okay, now, so now you can see that our sacrificial knife has kind of turned a gold color. Uh, so I believe that means it's because we've got this incense altar here. And if I right click, the incense altar takes up, but now look at my life, how much life was used. So it basically used a whole lot of life to fill up the blood altar. So you have to be careful with this one. Um, I don't know if it will actually kill you, but I think it might, uh, and I don't remember, and I'm not gonna try it right now. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's that. All right, so back to kind of tearing up here. So one of the things that we're gonna have to do next, I think is probably upgrade our blood orb. Uh, now that we have a tier two altar, and we can get a dagger of sacrifice. Um, and I don't know if we're gonna need that, but if we want to kill mobs manually, so if we were to set up like a mob spawner here and we wanted to kill mobs to fill up the blood altar, we could do that and I think use that dagger, but I don't think we're gonna need to do that, honestly. Um, all right, so in order to get the tier three, we're gonna need five times four 20 and then whatever we have in our tier two space we're going to need 20 more runes um, and it's about as we've already seen at the very least about three of the um we call it, it takes about three of these for each rune these blank slates um, and we'll have to kind of increase the tier of our slates as well so this is where I think some automation could really come in handy. Um, so I think I'm actually gonna try to set up something here. Um, let me give this some thought for a few minutes and then uh, we'll be back when I'm ready to set this up. All right guys, so what I've got here for automation uh, is it's kind of a hodgepodge type of thing here. Um, there's probably better ways to do this, but uh, this is the way I'm doing it right now. So basically I've just got a barrel here um, and what I will do is put in a stack of stone here and on this um, barrel, I've got a item interface uh, from integrated dynamics and then a um, logic cable. And then I've got a item importer. And inside this item importer, I've got a variable card with stone applied to the value. So in order to make that, I think I've showed you guys how to do this before, but I'll just show you real quick. So uh, you just right click on this portable logic programmer and then you can select item and uh, we'll use rune since we're going to be picking up the rune and we will put our variable card in here and just take it right out and that's it uh, so on the other side of the barrel here i've got another um, item interface with another logic cable and then i've got a item importer and inside that item importer we have a variable card with blank slate now the only problem with this setup is 
Um, it's not automated in terms of getting the blood, as you just saw. I have to keep uh, sort of manually adding blood for right now. Uh, but using this instance alter makes it a lot easier. So instead of like sitting here repeatedly having to uh, stab myself over and over again, I can just stab myself once and uh, fill this up. And that's pretty handy and uh, kind of speeds up that process a little bit. Uh, so now what I'm doing is just kind of putting in a stack at a time of these stones and just trying to get us a whole bunch of these blank slates because we're going to need these for our altar runes. And uh, we're going to have to upgrade these as well. So we're going to need um, the, the next tier up of these. And that will require us to basically um, infuse the blank slates as well. So we can already see that we've got a little bit of a problem here uh, in doing that because right now we only have one item selected um, for each of our importers and exporters here. So if we wanted to um, basically be able to expand this to include multiple items that we can import or export, uh, then we'll basically have to create a new variable card using a list, uh, which is this guy right here. And so we can add multiple different item things um, here. And I think for this, we would just use um, item. So this guy, and we would just click the plus button here. And now we can add this rune. And once we get the other rune, then we would add it here and basically be able to make a list of items that we could import. Um, and so I think that will basically kind of help keep this going. And we'll be able to sort of um, upgrade our stuff pretty fast, but we will have to babysit this until we can get a, uh, a ritual that will allow us to automate this. And I don't know if I'm, I'm even going to need that, honestly, um, because, you know, we don't need a whole lot of this. We're going to need to be able to upgrade our altar, obviously, the highest tier, and that's going to take longer than actually getting the item that we need. Uh, and and I'm, I'm actually fine with just kind of babysitting this until it gets done. So I don't really mind that. But uh, for those of you who do mind that, there is an altar, and we will actually try to set that altar up later on once we get to that point. But that'll take a while. So... Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to keep kind of um, getting these next tiers of things that we need. So if we can take a look, look at our book in order to get to the tier three blood altar, we are going to need, uh, so we, we already, th I think we established that we need 20 of these runes, right? So I'm going to have to sit here and sort of craft those. And some of those runes will require different tiers of these slates. So we can get the reinforced slate right now by putting our blank slate in the tier two rune, and that will take some time um, and give us uh, those items. So you can see here that in order to basically infuse a stack of stone, that it takes a really long time. So we've filled up this altar, I think, maybe twice or maybe three times um, since I started this, and we still don't have our 64 runes out of this. So... You can see that uh, this is part of the grindy part that I was telling you about before. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna get keep kind of doing this and get our try to get our runes to the next tier. And when we have those runes, we'll be right back. All right, so we managed to get the uh, runes that we need to kind of uh, go to the next tier. So I managed to get uh, 15 of these runes of sacrifice, and I'm gonna add five more speed runes. So to go up to the tier three, we just have to kind of do this sort of thing. And we'll put our speed runes here. And then we have to go up one. And we're going to put two of these and then a piece of glowstone. And I think that's all we need to do. And... I think that's going to give us tier three. There it is. Now it's tier three. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So now I can go back around and just fill in some of this stuff and start working on the tier four. Um, so now we should be able to get our next level of blood orb. We look at this, it's going to be a block of gold, and that'll give us a magician blood orb. So we can just take some gold here, 
We have so much gold. Holy cow. And we'll just put that in there. Let it do its thing. And you can see it's a lot faster. See how fast it's consuming the, the life essence now? That is because of the speed runes and the runes of sacrifice. So this can be a problem now because keeping enough life essence in here is going to start to be a challenge. Okay, there's there's our blood orb. We got that. We can put some LP in that way. Um, don't know if there's a way to see how much is in there, but if we put our blood orb inside of the altar, it'll start sucking up the blood out of it and use that for LP inside the blood orb. We're going to need this blood orb with LP in it in order to craft uh, the next thing that we're going to need using the alchemy table. So we're going to want to fill this thing up and then uh, get to our tier four. We could wait um, to do that part, but I think we can actually do it now. So once that's done, I'll probably just throw in another stack of stone in here to get us uh, some more slates. And I managed to get about three or four stacks of slates. Let's see what we got here. So I went, I went ahead and got some of the reinforced slates, a stack of those, and then um, we actually have two stacks of those. So we'll be able to upgrade these to the next tier of slate. All right, so now that we have our alchemy table, um, I think we can put our blood orb inside of here. And I don't know if it has anything in it. Let's, I mean, let me see here. Let me grab these. And, okay, so what we're going to want to make is this void regent. So we need two string, a bucket, and some gunpowder. All right, so once we have our string, bucket, and gunpowder, we can put those in here. And since our blood orb does have some life essence in it, we're able to get our void regent. Now we need 12 of these. We're going to have to craft 12 since we're making 12 ATM stars. So noise. So we're almost there with that. And the other thing we're going to have to make is the, the ash. Let's take a look at that while this stuff is crafting. Okay, we're gonna need these arcane ashes. And in order to get that, we're gonna need redstone, white dye, gunpowder, and coal. All right, so we got 12 of our void regions, and now we're gonna to want to get the arcane ash. Okay, so to make the sky, I'm gonna let that run. Uh, we're gonna need Let's see, somewhere in here is the sigils. Okay, so here it is. Uh, in JEI, we need the, um, we want the void sigils. So in order to make that, we need a reinforced slate, a void regent, and one of these arcane ashes. So let me get some of our slates. We need 12 of these. And what we have to do is throw down the ash. Um, actually, we only, okay, this has uses. Okay, well, that'll save us some time on that. Uh, so we're gonna put down 12 of these. And now we're gonna put in our Void Regent in each one. And then our Slate. And we're going to get this interesting animation happening. And then it's just going to pop out our Void Sigil. And there it is. Hey! All right, we got 12 of those, so that is done. Not going to need any more of that. 
And we'll grab this. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is upgrade our blood altar to tier four. And so we're going to need um, to craft some items for that. And I think we're going to upgrade a stack of our slates. So I'll have to do that first. So I'm going to grab 64 of these and I'm just going to throw them in here. And I'm going to need to make some changes to our importer and exporter to allow that to get in. And it'll put a stack of it in, and then we'll get that going. That'll allow me to craft some different types of uh, runes for our tier 4 altar. So I'm going to get that going, and then I'll be right back. All right, so in order to get our tier 4 altar, one of the things that we're going to have to have is a special kind of stone called bloodstone, which is this stuff right here. We're going to need four of these. And in order to get that... We have to have this weak blood shard. Now, in order to get the weak blood shard, we're going to have to either need saturated tau or we're going to need a master blood orb. And since we don't have a master blood orb yet and we can't get that until we get the tier four, we're going to have to get this saturated tau. And in order to do that, we'll have to do a ritual. And um, we're going to need some of these demon wills in order to do that ritual. And um, so we'll have to make this guy and we're gonna have to have the demon wills before we can make that as well. So in order to get the demon wills, we're gonna have to use these um, soul snares. So basically what you do is you craft these soul snares out of string. And I've got a stack of string here. Uh, I'll just throw down one for right now. And that's going to give us a snare. So we're going to want a whole bunch of these snares. And what we're going to do is throw the, sta the snares at a mob um, and then kill the mob. And if we use one of these uh, special weapons from Blood Magic, it'll, I think, actually increase the amount of um, souls that we get, or demon wills, rather, um, whenever we kill those mobs that we've hit with the soul snares. So I'm going to go ahead and craft up a whole bunch of these soul snares, and then we'll be ready to uh, take on our mobs with those. All right, so I'm here at the mob farm, and I've got a bunch of these uh, soul snares. And so all we're going to do is throw them at each of these guys. And then we can just kill them. And I think it's going to drop the... The demon wills. So let's check here if we got... What did we get? Um, it, they might have been picked up. Let's take a look by our item collector. Oh yeah, here we go. So we're getting those. That's perfect. So we'll just keep doing that to get a lot more of those. Okay, so now that we've got that, uh, one of the things that we're going to have to make in order to do this ritual and to get the items that we need and everything, um, it's going to be this guy right here, the Petty Tartaric Gem. And in order to make that, we have to use a Hellfire Forge, and we're going to need redstone, gold, lapis, and glass. Okay, now that we've got the ingredients that we need, um, all we're going to have to do now is, I think, put in a Demon Will here, and it's going to give us that guy noise and i think we only need one so now what i think we can do is um if we have this in our offhand or maybe if we just have it in our hand and we turn off our backpack magnet and then if we throw these on the ground and we pick it up you can see that it added um, some soul or some demon will to our petty tartaric gym. So we're going to have to do that with all of these. And it's going to in increase um, whatever this is that's stored in here, wills, um, raw will. It's going to increase that. So We'll have to keep doing this for a bit because we're going to have to use this Tartaric gem uh, in order to 
do another craft here in order to get the items that we need to um, to do the ritual that we're going to want to do um, in order to get the saturated towel. So getting close to that. Uh, let me grab some more of these. All right, so I was able to make some progress here. And uh, what we're trying to do now is get to a demon dimension. And uh, in order to do that, uh, we're going to have to craft this ritual. Now, if we take a look at our book, what we're trying to do is Edge of the Hidden Realm. And this is going to open up a portal to another dimension. And I believe we will be able to get our Tau fruit from that dimension. So in order to do that, we're going to have to have these ritual stones. And to make those, you just need um, these components here. So you're going to need some of these reinforced slates and then some sort of an orb and some obsidian. And that'll get you four ritual stones. Now, once you determine which ritual you want to run, basically you just click on this visualize and then you can place it where you want by right clicking. And then that allows you to kind of uh, visualize where to put down the runes. Uh, so we need to get this going here. So we're just going to put runes everywhere except for that spot that I just put it in because we don't need one there. <laughs> okay, so in order to craft this activation stone, we need a lava crystal. And we'll have to put a lava crystal here in our altar. And that's going to transform into our activation crystal. And I think... We can, okay, so we have to use our Ritual Diviner on this Master Rune, and you just basically right-click on the Master Rune with the Ritual Diviner, which is this thing, and then we're going to take our Crystal and right-click on it, and voila, there we go. This is our portal, and I'm not sure... Oh, we right click it with our ritual diviner and there we go. We are in the demon dimension. Oh boy. We've got an iron key here. Uh, the rest of this is pretty much garbage. Um, so we're going to take our iron key and go into one of these doors. Which door do we want to go in is the question. We're just going to take this one, I guess. And uh, we got a portal here. I don't see any Tau fruit. I think this is just a nether portal. Okay, I'm going to dispense of this thing. Okay, we got some Tau fruit. Noise. And did we get another iron key, though? Because that's really what we need to get into the other doors. I don't see one. Interesting. Um, maybe we can craft another iron key? I wonder if we can open this portal. I'm just curious. I want to see what happens, where this goes. So we're going to need a flint and steel to open this guy up. Oh boy. Okay, that does nothing. I guess it's because of the broken, the crying obsidian. Alright, well, never mind on that. Oh, there's another chest here. And nothing of interest. Looking for iron keys. Is there another chest in here, maybe? It's not appear to be another chest in here. Hmm. Oh, there's a chest right here. Yeah, we got some more Tau fruit, but no key. Alrighty. But we only get one key, I guess. Uh, these other doors can't be opened without another key, so. All right, we're going to head back now. Um, noise. All right, so now that we've got our Tau fruit, all we have to do is plant that. 
in one of our farms here. And um, I went ahead and turned off our watering can here because that made the growth a little too fast. And what I've got here on top of this is a chicken spawner. And uh, it's redstone activated and everything. So I'm just going to pull the lever. And what's going to happen is when these plants start to grow um, and there's a chicken on top of it, it's going to turn into the uh, saturated towel. And that's what we're after here. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this on. We're going to get some chickens. And the plants are actually going to steal the life essence from the chickens in order to produce the saturated towel. And uh, since our process is automated and everything, we should see some towel, saturated towel coming in. And that's what we've got here. We've got quite a bit of it already. I don't think we need that much of it. So that's probably enough. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. But we've got that set up here. Uh, we've got a few extra chickens running around here. Hey, buddy. Um, you're real lucky. Uh, okay, so we've got that done. Now we can go back over here to where our blood magic stuff is. And now that we've got the Tau fruit, we can make uh, a special item. So let's see. We are going to need these weak blood shards. So again, we're after this bloodstone brick in order to make the tier four blood altar. So uh, now all we need is to throw our towel food in here. And I think uh, actually before that, before we get that, we still need this sanguine reverter. All right, there we go. So we have to make one of these lesser tartaric gems, and that was the ingredients that we needed for that. So now we've got one of these. All right, so I think we finally got everything that we need to craft this item that we're after. Um, so it's going to take uh, imbued slate, uh, iron ingot, stone, and shears. Now, one of the things I had to do was get this common tartaric gem, and that did take quite a bit of time. I wound up actually using this sentient sword. Um, I just added some enchantments to it and then went into the other and um, killed a bunch of mobs and uh, also used the mob spawner uh, just to kind of uh, rapidly get a bunch of wills for this uh, Tartaric gem. So now that we've got this, I think it requires a thousand or so. So we've got a thousand in here. Let's see how much this uses. Um, okay, so there we go. We finally have this thing. And now we can put this inside of our uh, alchemical reaction chamber. And I believe we just take our Tau fruit now. And put this in here. And it's going to very slowly give us some weak blood shards. And this... I think actually we can make this indestructible. Um, so I'm probably going to do that. Okay, there we go. Made it indestructible. Uh, basically just applied a Eternal Stella to it, uh, which is this thing right here. I'm sure you guys know what that is already. All right, so I'm going to let this run for a bit and get um, some of these weak blood shards. And with this, we will be able to make these uh, large bloodstone bricks. So, yeah, and then we'll be able to get our Tier 4 Blood Altar. All right, so we finally got our Bloodstone Bricks, and uh, we've laid, I've laid out some uh, additional runes here, seven um, along each edge and just one block away from the previous set. And once we put this fourth one down, we should see tier four. There it is. Hey, so we've got finally got our tier four altar. Um, there was a lot of stuff required to get to this point. <laughs> um, so now all we need to do is fill up our blood altar with blood and grab a compass and throw this compass in here. And that is going to take a pretty long time. So uh, I'm going to sit here with this and babysit this until it basically 
transforms into the uh, wither compass. And then we'll be able to be done with this part of the part of the things that we need. We're going to need 12 of these. Uh, Explorer's compass, excuse me, that's what we're after now. Um, but uh, that's going to allow us to make the wither's compass. And uh, we've already got these glyphs. And uh, we already have all the potions and the charms. Uh, literally, the only thing that we need is this uh, explorer's compass. Hey, there we go. We finally got our explorer's compass. So I just need to craft 11 more of these, and uh, then we'll uh, we'll have our items. So, all right. So here it is, guys. Uh, while I'm waiting for these other explorer's uh, compasses to craft, here um, we're gonna go ahead and craft one of these withers compass and we've got everything we need to make that so there we go <laughs> we finally got it phew so that is this item right here in the uh in our atm star so we can now check that off the list all right guys that's going to do it for today's episode thank you guys so much for tuning in today really appreciate you and uh thanks for all your support out there thank you to those of you who have uh, subscribed. Big shout out to you guys. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot to me. There's a lot more content coming and I do apologize for the uh, kind of gaps in between the episodes. Um, I'm kind of realizing that I can't do an episode every day. There's just, it's impossible for me, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm probably going to be um, trying to figure out a more stable schedule, probably either twice a week or once a week. Uh, but that will be coming soon. And uh, as I kind of work out the details on the scheduling, get that going so uh if you enjoyed this video and uh found it useful and helpful in your atm6 adventure i hope you will uh click the like button for me that would be great uh really help me out a lot and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe it is free so uh that's gonna do it for today guys uh see you guys in the next episode take care now